Good morning, YouTube, man. We back at it again. It's another day. Again, we are late in the day. What's today, man? Today is like the 23rd or so. I think it's Saturday, man. I'm not mistaken. I just know I got some shipping to do. Um, other than that, let's get to it, man. Let's see what's sold. Let's get to it. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five. We got six items that sold today or yesterday. And they sold. I just know I got to ship them out, man. So we're going to start with this one real quick. Check this out. Now, we've been doing a lot of cleaning, going through stuff, throwing away a bunch of junk because we all got a lot of time in our hands, except for me. So this next, this item I sold right here was some DVDs. Um, CSI, I got season it's two, three, and four. Never even got a chance to open up three and four, just opened up two. So we shipping these out. I took a best offer on this for $10, man. I remember paying like at least 20, 30 bucks each on these. You know what I'm saying? That's how old DVDs are. So I took a best offer on $10 each. Um, shipping, they're going to pay like about $4, $5 shipping. That's got some weight on it. But these are going out. I got tons of DVDs. I'm about to list them and lot them all together, like five for 10 bucks, whatever. Good condition, man. But yeah, these are some heavy dudes, man. But anyway, these are going out 10 bucks. We, we good. Uh, we good on those. Um, this next one, doing some cleaning again. Found this Lion King. Thought it was Moana or something, but it's Lion King, man. It's a popcorn box, okay? I think it might have been used once, but I cleaned it out, sanitized it and everything. Um, I posted this up for like $19.99. I see that it was selling. This is something we found that's been laying around um, deep under the beds, under some boxes or whatnot. And um, I took a best offer on this for $11.75 plus the shipping. So this one is going to a happy home. It is sanitized. It is clean the whole nine. Um, this next one is, let's see. Man, I got everything all uh, mixed up here. My little 55. Check this out. Okay. But hear me out this one right here i took a best offer i had it listed for 9.99 i put in descriptions i'm open to any reasonable offers the guy offers seven dollars so i said okay i'm gonna go ahead and sell it to you for seven dollars now reason being because this is a damaged funko and what i mean by damage it's just the box that's damaged not the funko pop inside still intact it's just the box so the little lip that's bent right here that's considered damage this part right here that's bent, consider damage. There's a little hump right here. You might can't see it through the camera, but that's considered damage. It isn't exclusive, but it's considered damage because of the box. It's the box. The box is like almost more important than the Funko Pop itself. But anyway, hopefully he read the description and he knows that this is a damaged box. I'm still gonna give him a pop protector, wrap it up just like I do any other Funko Pop, so hopefully there's no returns, okay? But anyway, that one's going out for $7, man. We're going to be good with that one. Um, this next one I got, man, was... Um, this is the second one I sold. Um, Mace Windu. Uh, another Star Wars collector, man. So this one this one went out. Wow. This one sold for $49.99. So I was very pleased with this sale, man. So everything was good on that one. He gets a pop protector, plus he gets five stickers. I might throw in an extra sticker. We don't know yet. But $49.99, I ain't complaining. This is the second one I sold. The first one I sold, I think, was cheaper than this. But this was going out for $4.99, man. It's got the Star Wars background in there, if you can see it. The little, this is pretty cool. I, I, I should have kept it, but it's all good. Um, let's go to this next one, man. Let me see. This one, this still came in a little later on, but Colossal. It's an X-Man thing, Silverhead dude, like that. I think I might, you might have seen him on Deadpool or something. But anyway, this one's going out for $16.99. I didn't take a best offer, and I guess I had it listed for $16.99. This is going out plus the shipping. Um, they get a pop protector, a whole nine. This is exclusive, like that, from Comic-Con, I guess. Maybe, I don't know, like that. But anyway, that was good. Okay, and this next one, y'all going to be a shock. This is going to shock you. Y'all ready for this? Everybody sit down. Everybody be quiet. quiet. Watch this. You know what it is. Another coffee pot, man. And clean, fresh, brand new. Uh, just need to be wiped down a little bit, but this coffee pot's going out $4.99. Um, this will actually bring me up to about close to $125 on coffee pots. And with that said, I think I got about maybe 
I got about three more coffee pots, maybe four more. I got to go double check. And here's the thing. I got two big crock pots, oysters. I got to show you what those look like. I'm going to clean them out. I don't know if they work, but if they work fine, if they're used, then most likely they work fine. If they're brand new, it's iffy. But here's the thing. I should be able to at least get about $30 each from those, okay? That stuff, though, will have to be sold on offer up or somewhere local pickups. eBay, I'm not going to even try to ship that because it's just going to cost too much money. But I got two of those that I didn't throw away. I'm going to keep those. So I'm banking that should give me close to my money or if not all my money back what I spent on this pallet. So with that coffee pot, about, 100, about 125, I got about three or four more coffee pots. Hopefully we can get this rolling, get some more money back. I got those two oysters. Keep you updated. We're going to go from there. Other than that, man, that's it. The day is still young. I'm going to get these ready to get shipped out. We'll be back in a minute. I'm going to show you what's up, all right? What's up, YouTube, man? We back, man. We did Saturday. We had a lot of sales went out between Friday and Saturday. I think it was like 10 total, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe 8. Anyway, here it is, Sunday, man. I've been grinding all day, printing up some uh, more masks, some custom masks for some customers, and trying out some new stuff also. Um, right now, we got like 7 items going through. Um, after I do these masks, we'll get into it, see what's sold for Sunday, man, these seven items. More like between Saturday night, Sunday, and no shipping on Monday, so we'll still got to go. We'll, we'll see what happens on Monday, man. We'll keep it going. On that, I'll be right back. I'm about to uh, pop open these masks real quick, all right? Peace. Good morning, YouTube, man. I think, yeah, it's Monday, man. First off, before we even start anything, I want to say happy Memorial Day to all you guys. Please enjoy yourselves, man, and... Um, relax you know what i'm saying unfortunately i can't i gotta keep it pushing uh we done did saturday and this whole video is like a three-part video we done went through saturday did some shipping for saturday um we was printing up mask on sunday like crackheads man i'll show you the mask i did and um here we are monday monday yes monday i got about 10 items going out tomorrow morning so i'm actually going to get started on it today now the goal is to get these items ready to be shipped and list i have not listed in couple of days no consistency man been selling a lot been busy i gotta get it going but anyway look let's get into what sold man i got these books sitting here hopefully they don't fall but um i sold um a six pack of dvds right here man got the crush groove got shrek patch adams richard pryor og pippi long stockings and um some cleveland show man the whole first season and you can even feel the mustache on that one anyway i list them for 9.99 i sell like a five pack or six pack I listed it for 5.99 that's why i took the i listed for 9.99 took a best offer of uh 5.99 or no 5.50 that's what it was took a best offer for 5.50 took them about a day to pay really so they did order this on saturday they just now paid on sunday so anyway took a day to pay um, six pack of DVDs going out on um, the story behind these. This is a big lot I got from my neighbors. They used to live above me um, They just gave me a whole sack of DVDs I went through and make sure they were clean and everything cleaned the disc off no scratches and well some few scratches But they going home man or they going to a new home. That's cool. Anyway <clears throat> Excuse me. This next one I sold uh, was a book now this book Stephen King uh, that's that one movie man the gunslinger. I actually want to watch this movie. I heard it was really good um, I haven't read this book or anything, but it sold I had this book listed for a few months This one sold for $5.99 um, In this book, I pretty much got pennies. I paid pennies for this There was I went to an estate sale and it was like two big old boxes full of books up against the wall Dude said give me three bucks and you can have them all and I'm talking like maybe Probably about a hundred books or more man total kids books and big books and i sold a lot already on amazon and ebay so anyway this one's going out pennies on a dollar man this one sold for 5.99 man so that's gone man so that was cool um the next one we're going to get into is a funko pop so check it out man star lord now this is what i'm tripping off of star lord right here 155 this one sold for 24.99 i was really excited when this sold because i said wait a minute i got like five more of these but when I go to look, I only see this one. Now, Saturday, I sold one like this one, but it was damaged. But I know I have five more because I was saying in my last video, which I need to go back and look, I know I had a bunch of these because this guy was like 
whoever had these loves Star Lord. But anyway, this one sold for $24.99. I'm only into this for $1.84. For those who are new watching and everything, I buy Funko Pops. I buy them by the lot if I can get them cheap enough. And this is one big lot I bought, averaged out to like about, no, $1.84. Not, I don't know if I said 74. Anyway, averaged out to $1.84, man. So this one's going out for $24.99 and it's gone like that. And it gets a pop protector. Um, this next one I sold, this is a heavy book. I know I charge shipping, probably like five bucks. It's gonna go medium mail. But this book right here sold for $11.99. I actually took a best offer on it. I got this book from my, either my sister-in-law or my brother-in-law. When they finished school, man, they were nice enough to give me their books. I was nice enough to take them and I appreciate it. So thank you. Anyway, that one, so that was free. So that was all money, good, good on that one, man. Um, this next one right here is the Beatles. Beatles submarine but it looks like a hand but it's a yellow submarine hand or something i don't know if it's vintage or not i got this at a yard sale a few months back um dude had a five dollar tag on it he had like i think i want to say he had about four of them i asked him what can you do if i buy all of them he dropped down to four bucks i took them and this one sold for 19.99 going out the door i did charge shipping but maybe not enough because this one does got some weight on it so that was going out uh Sorry, car passing by. Anyway, this one's going on $19.99, $4 into it, man. So we good on that one right there. And then the next two, y'all ain't gonna believe this. Yeah, you are, you gonna believe this, man. I sold two more coffee pots, man. Anyway, look, two coffee pots sold, $4.99 each. I'm down to one coffee pot, I think. Maybe one or two. My neighbor wanted one, I think. She needs to see what kind she got. So I might be down to one, I might be down to two, we'll see. But I think I only have one more listed, man, and we're done. It's over. But we got something else. I'll tell you later. But anyway, um, that was it for the coffee pots, man. So this next one is a Funko Pop, another one, man. And um, this one's a little shocker. Ryu, Street Fighter. See that? Toys R Us exclusive. These are supposed to be going for more money due to the fact that Toys R Us is no more. Okay? So I thought it would go. I think I sent an offer out, man. This one sold for $16.99. I'm into this one for about $3.13. I think it averaged out to. I have to check my books. But it should be like $3.13 on this one right here. So I actually kind of thought it was going to go for more. But it's gone. $16.99 out the door, man. Out the door. Now, all that was from eBay. That was eight items on eBay that we sold. Mm, okay, good. I'm going to take it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't shy. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to take the money. It's all good. A um, lot of different stuff instead of just all Funko Pop. So that was good to know. Um, Macari, though. You know, I hope Macari's listening because eBay is whooping your ass. Just let you know. But anyway, we're going to get into Macari right now. We only got two items sold on Macari. And it could be my fault because I have not been listing like I should have. I have been lagging on listing because I've been doing a lot of, uh, doing a lot of cleaning and all this and that. But anyway... Let's go to Macari, man. We sold this Wonder Woman right here. Um, I'm into this for $2.74. This one sold for $24, man. So this was going out with a pop protector and all. Um, Wonder Woman. She hot, though. You know what I'm saying? She's a DC exclusive. And I could have swore I had more of these, too. But I'm still on the hunt trying to find them, man. All right. So this next one I sold on Macari. Check this one. I ain't going to believe this one. Star-Lord again. But this is a different one. The other one I sold was a mixtape Star-Lord. This one got the gear shirt on or something. I don't know, but it's exclusive. But this wasn't worth that much. I took a best offer of $10. I had it listed for $12. Took a best offer for $10, man, and it's out the door, man. Anyway, this one right here, this Star Lord I'm into like $2.74, man. So a little change made like that, man. Other than that, man, that's it, man. And we still got the rest of the day to go. Uh, I think I'm going to print up some more masks, just experimenting a little bit. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the mask that I did right here and um, what's going out and other than that that's it man so look man that's it we'll come back with another video man make sure you subscribe man make sure you like this video make sure you share i appreciate the love appreciate the support remember no nine to five job hashtag it man hashtag no nine to five job man all right we out peace